it's really nice to be at the Congress today. Um, it's super to meet people face to face again. And I've heard so many great examples today. And I think that's the most important part of coming together and learning from one another, whether you could be here in person or online. Um, you know, it's very hard to take the steps that we need to take for a circular transition. It requires bold action and learning from others and getting inspired is one of the most important tools that we have for giving people the confidence to do that. Yeah. Cities are in a great position to lead this transition to a circular economy. Uh, they have so many tools available to them. They um, are in charge of our planning system. Um, they have control over our waste management, our education. Uh, they are big buyers of products and services. And they're also, you know, the, the most tangible place where we can talk to one another and, and make this transition a tangible thing uh, that benefits citizens and improves our quality of life. So there's a lot of tools there. Obviously, using them all at the same time is a difficult job. Um, but through initiatives like, you know, by through political leadership, for example, Freiburg's a great example of that. Uh, and through, you know, initiatives like local green deals, uh, there's a lot of support out there to help cities break down these silos and find practical solutions that are grounded in their city for circularity. I mean, circular economy is really important. It's something that we need to transition towards. We've been working as cities, as citizen groups, as universities, for a long time now on sustainability, for decades. Um, and yeah, there's progress being made, but it's clear now that the speed of this transition is not as fast as it needs to be. And circular economy gives us a more transformative framework. It's not just about efficiency improvements or being less bad. It's really about how we can, yeah, not just tweak our economy, but completely transform it to something else that works for us, that still meets our material needs, but that also fits within our environmental limits. So I was here today speaking about sustainable neighborhood development. So we talked a lot about this theme of, you know, what is a circular neighborhood and why is it important? Um, and yeah, for me, you know, our neighborhoods are so important for structuring the type of society that we live in and the options that are available to us. And a lot of our sustainability challenges right now are based on decisions that were made during city planning in years gone by, decades gone by. Things like flexibility are really important and thinking about change. Um, and I think that's where Cradle to cradle as a concept is really important because it thinks about how materials can continue to be reused, repurposed, um, because all we know is that things will change. That's the only constant. Um, so yeah, I think that design for disassembly, that flexibility through cradle to cradle is uh, a really important um, tool for cities. <laughs>